All right, after the last video, I was asking you to tell me whether or not I should quit. Should I be done with diss tracks? I gave you my opinion, honestly, and you gave your comments. Here's my second thought to all of this. Why are these people creating these diss tracks that way? There's one thing if it's fun and games and people poke fun at each other with who they are and kind of what they do. To me, it draws a line. Like this whole thing with Kendrick Lamar and Drake drew a line that maybe it's always been around. I just don't know that I agree with. And the number one line is bringing in family, especially children. The number two line is trying to drag somebody through the mud when you're not even sure what exactly the truth is. We still don't know what all the truth of both of their stories are. We still don't have facts on everything that happened. And Kendrick Lamar, you know, who was blatantly talking about wanting Drake to die and talking to his children about what a horrible person he was and his parents and on and on. If that was in fun and games, I stop and I think, do I want to be a part of that? As a mental health professional, is that something that we're like, or anybody, what makes that okay? It's one thing if it's you and me doing it face to face, like let's fight between the two of us. But when it's out in the open and then you start bringing in stories that children can hear when they grow up, that's my biggest issue with all of this, is that their children are left to hear this for years and decades to come. Stories that might be true or they might not be true about their parents and their parents are forced to have to deal with them. The idea that a child was not, was hidden, was not acknowledged, or it was, but it's none of your business because it's private matter. The idea that you're a pedophile or you are a horrible person and you should die. The, when you start up the fact that you were abused and that's why something's wrong with you. Well, it wasn't Kendrick Lamar's fault that he was abused. It's like it wasn't, that, that was, he's a victim of that. That's not something that should be held against him. And so I want to know from you, like, where does the line get drawn where it's just fun and games and everything's great and it becomes a serious matter? Because when I heard J. Cole do his speech, which I was really proud of him for, I heard him say, you know what? I don't want any of this. And I think part of it was like, I'm in a different place in life where I just don't want to get into that. And also, I don't want stu stuff dug up against me and about me or made up about me. And I don't want to have to go trash people. I almost have a feeling he had a clue into what was coming. So he just graciously bowed out, which is kind of how I feel. Like, it's okay to not want to be a part of something like that. But then I think, what is it about people, as human beings, especially when we have children, that makes us want to drag somebody else through the mud uh, in such a disgraceful way. What makes us want to do that? What is it that makes it okay? And when I heard comments coming at me about how I'm horrible because I uh, just kind of passed it off as, you know, Drake said Kendrick Lamar was abused and, you know, I, I just kind of made light of that, which I didn't make light of it. I'm listening to a reaction real time and I said, this is just not mental health. This is not okay. What makes it okay for somebody to say that's not okay? But at the same time, Kendrick Lamar said, you should die. And you're a pedophile. And your children should be ashamed. And your dad shouldn't have ever had, you know, should have had a condom on. I just hear all these things and I'm thinking, what normal people do this? And I don't get it. And now if you tell me it's a rap game, it's the way it goes, it's what they do, it's not who they are in person. If I sat with Kendrick Lamar or I sat with Drake, I'd love to hear like, how much of this is really you? Because I've talked to artists who sometimes they have told me, you know, that's not really me. And so is it fake? Are they making stuff up? Are they really trying to end somebody? Are they really trying to take somebody down? And when do the gloves come off and it, it all becomes fair? Because you said this about me, I can say this about you. And they need to stay on, which means that's not fair game. When is it not okay to bring something up? Because as a mental health professional, this creates and fosters mental illness. And so I heard people on both sides of the coin yelling at me, like Kendrick people and Drake people, 
that I wasn't being fair or that I was a very bad mental health professional because I was just letting all this go. Well, you know what? If I said th if I said what I thought was not okay, neither one of those diss tracks would be written. They wouldn't do it to begin with. And I don't think it's healthy. I The only way I think it's healthy, I'm being completely honest with you here, the only way I think it's healthy is if it is completely them making things up and they're just trying, like the old days when I grew up of Yo Mama jokes and stuff like that, they're just trying to make stuff up so that they can get music out, so that they can get people to watch and so that they can create a fun fight. Like old school wrestling was, where it was all staged and it was fake, but it looked like it was real and we played like it was real. That's the one way I can see this. And what I did was I took my therapist hat off and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna listen to this and see where they're coming from. And I think it's important to do that because otherwise I would only listen to very specific music and half of what we listen to, I probably wouldn't react to, which means we wouldn't have a channel. We wouldn't be doing this. I wanna spread mental health awareness to the world, no matter the music. I wanna to listen to music like this and do it from a mental health perspective and enjoy the art that they're creating, but not attach personally to, I love Kendrick Lamar and what he just said about Drake being a pedophile. And I love Drake because of what he just said about Kendrick Lamar being abused and that's why he's got issues. I don't wanna to have to do that. I wanna be able to listen, I wanna be able to appreciate, I wanna be able to have fun with the music and I want you to be able to understand that this is all entertainment also but sometimes it gets too personal. J. Cole might have had it right. Let's collaborate. I would wanna see people collaborating, doing things together, but a lot of people wanna see the fighting. A lot of people wanna see them tearing each other apart. And it's all great, but sometimes in this last week, and same with Chris Brown with Quavo, I feel like, man, he just went off kind of too deep with a little bit of that, but Kendrick and Drake, they went to a whole nother level, which was great for the community. It was great for the music world. It was great for the rap industry. But I don't know as a mental health professional if that's something I should be doing. And if not, it's all good. That's why I wanted to hear from you. Should I keep doing this? Should I stop doing this? Because if I stop doing this, then I have to back off. Or here's the other side. I could keep doing diss tracks, but I react completely from the mental health perspective. I give you my point of view that is okay or not okay based on what I'm hearing. And I've said it to you before, sometimes I love the beat and the rhythm of song, but I don't like the lyrics at all. Sometimes I love the lyrics, but I don't like the beat and the rhythm of a song. So I've got two sides. And while I'm thinking about backing out of the diss track, meaning getting into it so much, I might still react to it, but really from a mental health perspective. And you know what that's going to mean, Drake fans? He shouldn't have done what he did. And you know what that's going to mean, Kendrick Lamar fans? He should not have gone where he went. It's going to end up on both sides, which is okay. But just remember... Sometimes it gets too far and it's way past personal. Tell me what you think. Give me your feedback. I want to hear, honestly, where am I off base? Where am I on base? And what needs to happen next? Because I'm thinking about pulling a J. Cole.